or British Islam. Mm -hmm. um, is that possible? I mean, when I see you, an Englishman, very at peace with his English roots, but you're a Muslim at the same time and there's no contradiction at all. But I'd like to get your take on it. Well, whenever we talk about the essence rather than superficial features of a culture, we're dealing with something very hard to pin down. So everybody might say, well, Britishness means wearing a duffel coat and smoking a briar pipe and liking fish and chips and warm beer. And uh, that doesn't get to the essence of the thing. Right. Uh, it's part of Allah's wisdom in creating diversity. The difference of your uh, languages and your colors, nowadays we say it's to do with culture, uh, is one of God's signs. Yes. And part of the majesty of his creation is that there's so much of it. And human beings, who as descendants of Adam, are the most majestic thing about creation, potentially. More beauty, more ethics, more extraordinary creativity amongst human beings than in anything else, or the rest of the world put together. Uh, that this is also a sphere of diversity, and this is part of the beauty of Islam, yes. which it is, is that it historically spread over this unprecedentedly huge chunk of the Earth's surface, and not homogenized everybody. Mm -hmm. They didn't all suddenly become Arabs. Yes. But one of the miracles of Islam is that, for instance, when it went to the Persian cultural zone, the Turkish cultural zone, Uzbek, the local literature actually was revived and burst into life, as if Islam was kind of the rain that made the flowers grow. Iranian literature, before Islam, was a few dusty legends about kings and a few inscriptions and deadly dull. Islam comes, ostensibly from somewhere not Persian, and then Saudi you have the miracle Hafiz, of yes. the world's greatest ever religious literature. Yes. The same for the Turks, the same for everywhere, Malay. Yes. Islam has this tremendous capacity to bring everybody into the same Ummah, so everybody's facing the same Kaaba and fasting the same Ramadan and going on the same Hajj, more united in its basic forms than any other religion, without exception, but also allowing this flourishing of these different cultures. And you can see that that is not some kind of Arab imperialism, 